this video is going to be um, me solving questions 9 through 14 in your homework. So if you look at question 9, it says f of x is equal to x cubed minus 5. So this right here, that is my function, that is f of x. What it says for a is it wants me to find f of negative 1. So in my function, every time I see an x, they want me to input a negative 1. So here's an x right there. So in a bracket, negative 1 cubed minus 5. F of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 cubed would be negative 1 minus 5, and that is equal to negative 6. Okay, this is 4 times the function. So if I go back to the top, I'm just going to erase this. Again, this is my function. This is what f of x is. Here's the function. They want me to put a 4 in front of the function. So the function was x cubed minus 5. And in front of the function, they want a 4. So now we're just going to um, simplify this, distribute in that 4, and we would get 4x cubed minus 20. For the next question, um, C, f of 4x. This 4x is within the function, right? It's within the bracket. So within the function means you go to the function. We're going to put a 4x here. Every time we see an x, they want this x to come out, and they want a 4x to go in. So I've got to plug that into the function. So put a bracket, 4x. That was cubed, and then minus 5. Okay, f of 4x is equal to, take that 3 and distribute it into your bracket. So 4 cubed is going to be 64x cubed minus 5, and that would be your answer. 4d, so let's look at what they gave me for d. d, it says f of x, whatever the function was, this was my function, that's f of x. And to that, they want me to add 5. So let's write f of x, x cubed minus 5. And then they said, add 5 to the function, so plus 5. Simplify this, negative 5, positive 5 cancels, and we are left with x cubed as an answer. This one here is probably going to take the longest. Um, this is f of x plus 5. This is within the function, right? So if I was to go here, they took out the x and they replaced it with an x plus 5. So that means within my function, I've got to take out the x and I've got to put in an x plus 5. So it's x plus 5 cubed minus 5. From here, it does say simplify, right? So we've got to simplify this. This is a binomial cubed, which means you need to write that binomial three times. Okay, what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to keep this first bracket exactly as is. I'm going to apply the distributive property, or FOIL, this second bracket. So x times x is x squared. And then I've got plus 5x plus 5x, which would give me plus 10x. And then 5 times 5 is positive 25. Don't forget to bring down that minus 5. We can still simplify by getting rid of this bracket. Okay, so we're going to um, do the distributive property again. So x times x, I guess I'll do it over here, is x cubed plus 10x squared um, plus 25x. Now distribute in the 5 plus 5x squared. Uh, plus 50x, and then 25 times 5 is plus 125, and then don't forget that minus 5. You would then once more clean this up, so get all your like terms together. So that would be, you would have an x cubed, 
and then my squareds, 10x squared and 5x squared would give me 15x squared. And then join your x's together to get 75x. 125 minus 5, but your constant would be plus 120. And so that's quite a lot of work, but that would be your answer for 9e. Let's do f. This is within the function. Within my function, they want me to put f of negative x, right? f of negative x. So within here, I got to take that x out, and they want me to input a negative x. That is going to be cubed minus 5. That uh, cube applies to the negative 1 there, and it applies to the 3, which would give you negative 1, because negative 1 cubed is negative 1, x cubed minus 5. And that would be your answer for 9f. Okay, I'm going to do 10 now. I'm just going to erase what I have here. All right, let's look at number 10. It's very similar to what we were doing, except this time they're giving me a function. So f of x is equal to uh, square root of x. So this is a radical function, right? So this function would be a radical. And they want me to now write it in terms of f. So I'm going to be writing it as it was written originally in question 9. So here's how you would do this. This is f of x. Okay, so whenever we see a radical, square root of x, that's our f of x. So this guy here is f of x. Then it would be f of x, and we've got to add a minus 1, because there's a minus 1 here. I'm going to go to d next, because I find d is a nice easy one. Box that in. If you see that, square root of x, square root of x, that's f of x. What is in front of it? In front of it is a negative 3. So it's negative 3 times f of x. f of x is the square root of x. Negative 3 is square root of x. For b and for c, this is within the function. Okay. So what they want me to do is within here, they want me to put an x plus 3. Because then in here, whenever I see an x, I would take that out and put an x plus 3. So how I write it, because it's within the function, it's going to go inside here. And it's going to be f of x plus 3. Because if I have an x plus 3 in here, f of x plus 3, I then take out that x and put in an x plus 3. This guy, again, is within the function. It's underneath that radical sign. It is within the function. This would be f of 2x minus 1. Question 11. Very similar to 10. Okay, so I'm going to do all of all of it for question 11, but again, it's very, very similar to 10. My function is now a quadratic. f of x is equal to x squared, right? So this is my function here, and it's a quadratic. Write the following in terms of the function f. So whenever we see an x squared, that is f of x. Here's my x squared. That's f of x. Plus 3. I'm going to go to all of the ones where I could like box in the f of x. Here's my x squared. That's my function. The function is f of x. That's in front of it, a 3. Okay. Um, let's look at e. There is x squared. x squared is f of x. Put a 4 in front of it. So it's 4 times the function, minus 7. Here's another one. There is f of x, right? Anytime you see an x squared, that's going to be f of x. What do they have in front of it? They've got a negative 2 in front of it, and then they've got a minus 1. So it's negative 2 times what the function was, that guy there, minus 1. Uh, those are the ones that I could do. Um, now I'm going to go the questions that are inside the function. So remember that. Um, our function was x squared, right? So here's my squared. What they did is they put here x plus 3 because I want to take this x out and I want to have an x plus 3 in there. So that's called within the function. So it would be f 
of x plus 3. Because if I put an x plus 3 here, I've got to put an x plus 3 here, and it's squared, which is what the question was. This is within the function. The squared is on the outside, right? So what do they put into the function? 3x. This guy here, um, actually, I'm going to do this one last. It's slightly different. Let's do this one. Here is my bracket, and there's a squared outside. So this is what I put into the function. This would be f of negative x plus 4. This guy. That there was my what they plugged into the function, right? Because the square is on the outside. So what they plugged into the function was negative x minus 2. What they put in front of that function was a negative 3. Last one is this guy. And actually, I could have done this one with that first part. That right there is f of x. Minus 7. They have that in a bracket, and what do they have in front of the bracket? A 4. So again, I think that 10 and 11 are sort of the most complicated for students to do. Sometimes, like, this is the most difficult to understand. So try to um, do this on your own, right? So if you need to write each one of these on a separate sheet of paper, try to do it and see if you get the answers that I came up with. Let's flip the page and look at number 12. So I did, I assigned 12 and 14. Okay, uh, let's see. The function f is defined by f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So remember that this here, that's my function, that's f of x. What they're telling me to do is which of the following represents f of 2x? Again, this is in the function. It's in the bracket, it's in the function. So I put a 2x here. If you have f of 2x, what that means is within your function, you've got to take out the x, and every time you see an x, you've got to input a 2x. So it would be 2. I'm going to put that 2x in for the x. The square is on the outside of the bracket, plus 3. Take that squared and distribute it in, and I would have 4x squared. I've got to bring down that 2, plus 3. This becomes 8x squared plus 3. And your answer would be C. Um, last question is number 14. Um, I'm surprised it's even a question um, because it really fits more into 3-1. But basically what it says is it gives you a function. It's a polynomial function. So they call it P of x. And they want you to input this into your calculator and find to the nearest hundredth, so to two decimal places, the largest zero. Remember that the zeros are the x-intercepts. So I actually have this input into y1, so you could pause this and input it. When you hit graph, here's your graph. There's three zeros, one, two, and three. This is the smallest zero, or smallest x-intercept. This is the largest. Second function, calculate, we're going to find the zero. I want to find the largest zero, so this guy here. First, I have to go left of the zero, enter. Then you're going to go right of the zero, enter. Guess, enter again. To the nearest uh, hundredth, it would be 2.89. And that would be your answer. So again, practice those function notation questions, and then the more you do, the better you will get at it.